You're watching the Wellness Hour, leader in medical news and information. I'm Randy Alvarez. We're on location today at one of the busiest and largest cosmetic dermatology centers in North America. With us, we have the founder, Dr. Mitch Goldman. Dr. Goldman, always a pleasure. Good to see you, Randy. And uh, thanks for letting our cameras come here. And I'm excited about doing this. And uh, you know, you're known all over the world. Uh, lecturing to doctors, and you've invented, is that correct, most of the technology, or pioneered oh, most. most of the technology, or yeah, a lot of the but technology? but a little bit, a little bit. Okay, good. Well, uh, tell us about your center. I mean, who's the typical patient that comes here? The typical patient is about a 50-year-old woman. Now, we treat men as well, okay. and we treat people of all ages, but that's our bread and butter, and it's the person that actually is looking in the mirror, she feels great, but she's not looking like she did when she was 30 and 40 years old. And that's what we can do. We can literally take that person who feels and looks great and make them look at least 10 years younger. Okay, you have 38 or more different lasers, all the new stuff. Tell me about that. Well, one of the big advances in medical technology is the ability to do a lot of stuff with very little, if any, downtime and very little pain. And that's why you have to be up to date. And we have so many different lasers and energy devices. We have machines that can actually tighten the skin. We have machines that can erase lines and wrinkles. We have machines that can erase brown spots and red spots and spider veins and large varicose veins. So almost whatever cosmetic problem you have on your skin surface, we can deal with. Now we talked, you know, knowing I was gonna do this story, we talked on the telephone and you said, and we met 10 years ago. Yeah. So it, it, you said, Randy, we're so much better now at reversing the appearance of aging than we were 10 years ago. What's changed the most? What's changed the most is the ability to use different technologies on the same patient. For instance, the typical patient we can use from one to four to five different lasers and energy devices at the same time to resurface the skin and tighten the skin. We can also use the neuromodulators like Botox, Dysport, and Xeomin to soften the lines of movement. And finally, we have a wide variety of fillers we can use to put volume back in the face to make one look more youthful. Okay, let's talk a little bit about your background and you lecture nationally. You've written at least five medical textbooks. Is that right? You're published over 100 medical articles, mostly on lasers. Um, uh, tell me about that. Well, of the 30 medical textbooks I've written and okay, over 300 medical articles, All right. it's in a wide variety of cosmetic procedures including lasers and leg veins and other cosmetic surgical procedures. I talked to your associates and, and, and they said, Randy, I, I said, give me the inside scoop. You know, what, 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 are your, what are your thoughts on what's going on in the industry? And they said, Randy, we can get uh, more, and I'm paraphrasing slightly, we can get better results in just one treatment than some of these other centers may get in six or eight treatments because they don't know the settings on the machine or they don't know how to push the machines to the limit. Is that true? Is that, does that go on? You know, Randy, that's exactly right. So sometimes you as a patient go to a medical spa or a doctor that's not a core physician, a plastic surgeon, dermatologist, or cosmetic surgeon, and you'd say, wow, I'm going to get a really good deal because I'm only going to pay half the price as if I was going to a Dr. Goldman. Okay. And what ends up happening is you're going to have to go back time and time again to get that same procedure. So when people come to our center, it looks really big and it's formidable. And we have all these machines and we're the leading experts in the world of cosmetic surgery. And they think, whoa, this is going to be really expensive. It actually turns out to be way less expensive than you would ever think Because possible. you don't uh, rent the machines. No, we don't rent the machines and it only takes one or two procedures to get you the the look that you want to get to get you 10 years younger. You don't have to keep coming back time and time again because the more you come back, the more it's eventually going to cost. The woman 45, 55, okay, your core group of people, how many years could you take off their appearance? Almost uniformly about 10 years. So if you, Is that right? If okay. you bring me a picture of what you look like 10 years earlier, I can match that and probably even improve it and then keep you there. Now you said something very interesting on the phone. Okay, so you take a woman 45. If she takes your advice, you know, lifestyle, skin care, at home care, that maybe at 50, you know, 45, at 55, maybe into her 60s, you could kind of keep her appearance stable. We really, Do you believe that? Oh, we really can. You know, I've been doing this for 25 years, okay. and so I've had the opportunity to follow my patients. I just saw one a few minutes ago, Catherine, who I've been treating for 25 years, and she looks better today than when I saw her 25 years ago. Okay. And that's something we can reproduce. We're actually doing a study where we've taken pictures of our patients in the 1980s and 90s, and we're bringing them back now, 
and we're taking pictures of them. And when we show those patients the before and after, 15, 20 years difference, they look better now than they did before. And that's what we can accomplish if we do the proper procedures. Let's talk about uh, the biggest improvement, actually, in lasers over the last 10 years. There have been so many, but one of the biggest one is called fractionated resurfacing. Okay. It was first done by a company and they called it Fraxel. And Fraxel is just the name brand for a wide variety of procedures. We actually have about 10 different fractionated resurfacing lasers. And what they allow us to do is the same thing we did 15 years ago with laser resurfacing, but now instead of being red for a month and taking two to three weeks to heal, you're going to be healed in a week. So you can wear makeup in a week and all the redness and the evidence that you've had a procedure are going to be done within seven to ten days. So it's all downtime. I mean, if a patient says I have two days, I have three days, or I have a week or two weeks, it that is. depends on how deep you're going to go? Absolutely. Okay. And it's not only downtime, it's also what the procedure is doing. So in the old days, five years ago, we actually had to put people asleep. And now, we don't have to put people under general anesthesia anymore. Just a little very light sedation with an oral or intramuscular or intravenous drug. And boy, you're awake during the entire procedure, you don't feel a thing, and it's a very pleasant experience. Okay. Uh, tightening. The new tightening uh, procedures. How does that work, by the way? Yeah, what the, what the tightening procedures do is they cause your body, they stimulate your... And we're talking about laxity, like jowling, crepey skin, what are we talking about when we talk about tightening? When we're talking about tightening, it's doing just that. It's getting rid of the jowls by tightening the skin. There's two ways to do it. One is to make sure you've got enough volume in your skin, and so yeah. we can use a variety of fillers. The other is using lasers, radio frequency, or the latest is focused ultrasound to actually produce a, a stimulation of collagen elastic fibers underneath the skin. And what that does is cause a natural tightening. So not like you're gonna look like you've had a facelift, but just that you're gonna look younger. We're just gonna tighten the collagen and elastic fibers that you already have and stimulate your body to grow new ones. Is this the new aging gracefully, in your opinion? I think it's... Coming in, getting things done. And that's, uh, gracefully is an interesting word. It's aging intelligently. It's All aging right. safely. It's aging without surgery. So the mark of the best surgeon is one that knows when not to cut. The last thing we ever do in this office is do surgery. Everything that we're doing is less invasive. It's using fractionated lasers, intense pulse light devices, a variety of, of other pigment-specific lasers in order to rejuvenate your skin. Do you have more lasers in any center uh, you know, in, in, in California? You know, Randy, I think we have more lasers than any private center in the world. Is that um, right? There's probably okay. one other guy, real good friends of ours in New York, that may have as many as we do. And then the only other place would be like the Mass General Hospital uh, at the Wellman Labs at Harvard. So we're, we've been very, very lucky and very fortunate over the last 25 years to be on the ground floor of laser technology. Okay. And that's what we have right here in but San Diego. It's about Diego. results. I mean, we talked on the phone. You say results, results, results. A word on self-esteem. I mean, you see changes in women every week, every day in your practice. Unfortunately, many patients that come to us have very low self-esteem they've just been divorced or they've just lost their job or some emotional tragedy has happened. And these people are, you can tell they're beautiful on the inside, they're beautiful on the outside. And so what we do is we try to make them just a little bit more attractive and that gives them a lot of self-esteem. Able to go back into the dating scene, back into the workplace, compete with the younger kids yeah. that are trying to get their jobs. In this economy, do you find people wanting to invest in themselves? Oh, absolutely. Looking their best. In the first year or two of this downturn, it's been a little difficult, and now everyone's coming back. Everyone wants to be at their best. They want to have the best jobs. And in this, not economy, but in this day and age, it's a youth-oriented society. We want to look our best, and that's where we can come in. We can make you look as good as you feel. What do you want to be this center to be known for when it comes to cosmetic dermatology? Excellence. Okay, good. Very interesting. Good stuff. I want to thank you, by the way, for, to be for, for allowing our cameras here. Ah, sure. Anytime. People cannot believe that I'm almost 50 years old. I have two grown children and five grandchildren. I've had several issues with sun damage. I've been traveling all over the world for the last 10 years, 48 countries, and I've been foolish about 
sun care. She did the Fraxel on the face and the neck, and I had the neck done a second time, and the V-beam on the chest. And it has been just such incredible results. So what's new in lasers? I mean, why is it you could get better results now than you could just five years ago? What's the difference in you technology? Know, <clears throat> the big difference today is um, the way the energy is delivered. Before, we used to peel the entire surface of the skin off. If you do that, you can get a good result, but it exposes patient to um, a significant healing process. By using a pixel-type delivery of en energy, well, little tiny dots about the diameter of a hair are used and scattered throughout the skin, then we can get very significant um, results without the risk of, of pro prolonged healing or, or um, pigment changes or scarring. So the, the pixelated delivery of energy is probably the most significant improvement um, in the past decade. Now, you know, we're talking about results, and you have a photo of a woman. And I said, is that a facelift? And you said, no. Let's take a look at that. What are we looking yeah. at there? Well, she has a lot of sun damage. So she particularly didn't like the lines around her mouth. Um, but she has uh, deep wrinkling on her cheeks and forehead uh, around her eyes. And all of this is um, uh, things that happen just from daily sun exposure. OK, let's take a look at the result. Let's take a look <coughs> at the results side by side. Wow. That's huge. Yeah, so she, <coughs> she has uh, um, dramatic improvement, especially around her mouth. Uh, but she also has some tightening on her cheeks, uh, improvement uh, of the lines around her eyes. And her color is much more uniform. So when that's done, what does she say to you? Oh, she's thrilled, absolutely thrilled, as is her husband. You have another photo. The neck, yeah. the neck and chest area. Well, neck and chest is a problem area. And <clears throat> in the past, uh, we really didn't have uh, good treatment for that. Uh, but with the fractional lasers, plus combining lasers together, as I was mentioning, uh, we can treat it very effectively and safely. OK, so uh, let's take a look here. So this is very common. Not so bad, not so bad. And so what kind of laser here? And then there's the after. Very nice. Yeah, so in this. This situation, we're using um, a laser for the brown spots. We also use a, a laser if there's any uh, broken capillaries. And then we go over it with the uh, fractional CO2. OK, and we're out of time, but acne scars. You have a picture of acne scars. What are we looking yeah, at? Yeah, now, there? acne scars are <clears throat> very common. And they can really uh, destroy the um, self-esteem of the patient who has them, especially a young person. But they respond tremendously well to the uh, fractional lasers, fractional CO2 okay. and fractional erbium. This is after two procedures. Very nice. And um, it was extremely valuable to him. So now this is, you're not actually peeling down and peeling down the skin. You're actually plumping up right. where there were holes. You're filling it in with collagen. Is that right? Well, it's your own collagen. Your body's making it with So collagen. by heating the underlying tissue, you're building it out. Correct. Same thing yeah. you do with wrinkles? Yep. You build it out. Yes. Is that right? Okay, time for one more photo. What else are we looking at over there? Now here's another woman who has some lines on her cheeks and as well as lip lines. All right. And those bothered her uh, significantly. Around the upper lip, right. side Especially of the cheek. upper lip um, and inner aspect of her cheeks. Uh, so with her, uh, we use the CO2 and erbium lasers to sculpt away the lines, mm -hmm. and the fractional CO2 to, um, to blend it all together. Very nice. Now, that's a dramatic before and after. How many treatments? A couple treatments? No, this is one treatment. One treatment. I mean, this is one treatment, and, and now she has fabulous skin. Yeah. And it's going to hold up for quite some time. It is. It is. Because we have truly rejuvenated her skin. We've taken away the most damaged aspects of her, of her skin. And then the healing process has replaced it with new healthy tissue. Very interesting. Well, good for you. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thanks for allowing our cameras here sure. in the building. It's a pleasure. The biggest problem I've had has always been with my neck. And I've had a little bit of liposuction, which has made a, a huge difference. Um, I do get compliments on my age. People tell me I look much younger than um, I am, which is always good to hear. It's made me feel much better about myself, about meeting people in the public, which I do a lot in my career. I have to meet with a lot of people. 
and I just felt better about myself, more confident. Let me talk to you about laser resurfacing. Okay. The, the, the women 55, 65, maybe they just now are on to the fact that, hey, maybe I need to do something. They, right. they, they, they pushed it off. They, were, they, they didn't want to do it. Maybe they thought it was vanity. Right. So what can you do for them? Sure. How do you evaluate the patient? And, uh, and she has some deep wrinkles, some sun damage. Well, I think the first thing I do is I ask them what's bothering them because okay. there's a reason that they came into our office. There's something that's troubling this patient, and I want to know what that is so I can help them. After they tell me what's bothering them, then I'll kind of start from the top of the head and work my way down, and I'll take note, and I'll ask the patient if they want to know what I think, okay. and uh, I'll give them my opinion. You know, if they have lines here, or maybe they have hollowing through the temples, sometimes they'll have a big blue vein that courses through the uh, area of the temple, that, that can be very aging, actually. You could get rid of that. Yeah, Pretty oh, easy? absolutely. Is that right? Yeah, okay. It's okay. one of my favorite treatments to do, Okay. because it makes a huge difference in the appearance. Um, then we'll go down in this area and sometimes the cheeks will be flattened or there'll be a depression through the cheek and we can fill that with filler which is an easy procedure but makes a huge difference. Go down to the nasolabial fold area and around the mouth. Something that really bothers a lot of patients are the lip lines. They may have never smoked a cigarette but women still get these lip lines on their upper lip and sometimes down through here and we can make those go away. Okay, then what about saggy skin? Saggy skin's another... You need surgery for that. Well, not anymore. Now, I'm okay. not saying that lasers will replace But for the 55-year-old with the lax skin? Sure. Tell me about that. There's non-invasive procedures that we can do to lift and tighten the skin along the jawline. You can also put some filler along the jawline to make it more crisp and sharp like it was maybe 20 years ago. So there's plenty of options. You, even when we resurface the skin, you get tightening all along the cheek that will pull up and redefine that jawline. So there's plenty of options out there. You see changes in self-esteem every week. Oh, absolutely. That's one of the best parts of my job. There's nothing better when you come into work and you have patients that are just so thankful and they're happy and they have big smiles on their faces and they give you a hug and they say thank you. What could be better than that? I've had a, you know, my forehead was extremely wrinkly. I had a very deep crevice on my forehead um, and after a visit with Dr. Groff, it magically goes away. People are typically shocked to find out that I'm actually 40 years old. Um, people usually guess I'm around 30, and I attribute that to uh, the Botox and fillers and laser treatments I receive at Dr. Groff's office. So let's talk a little bit about how these, this technology, it rebuilds collagen, makes them look years younger. Help me understand how that works. So I've had the opportunity to work with radio frequency, which is the old thermage device that okay. takes a single treatment and uh, goes below the skin surface to stimulate collagen. How? How though? So essentially radio frequency uh, contracts your collagen, which in turn stimulates it to grow. It's collagen regeneration. Is it heating it? What is it? That's the part I'm not it's, quite getting. It's deep heat okay. is what radio frequency is. But we have something newer and better now called old therapy, which is ultrasound technology. All right. And ultrasound works a little bit different than radio frequency in the sense that it's ultrasound, so it's sound waves that actually has the ability to go even deeper than the old radio frequency devices. So it is able to go to a focused level and stimulate collagen by creating collagen stimulation. By creating more collagen, it's actually stimulating your collagen to grow. So it's essentially laying down more collagen and rebuilding that foundation that we need to keep that youthful young appearance. So do you think that with, with this uh, old therapy, which is laying down new collagen, you take somebody 30, 35, you can make them keep, or keep them in that appearance for how many years? Or a 40-year-old? Keep a 40-year-old looking 40 up into their 50s? Up into their 50s, absolutely. 60s, maybe? Maybe up into their 60s as well. Combine that with skin care, proper food and diet, and medical grade skin care products, absolutely. Even right, how many treatments, by the way, typically? One treatment, that's it. And you know, we talked on the phone and you say that you, you could fix their skin and sometimes you could change their life. Right. How so? I actually had a patient a couple months ago that came in who's looking to get back into the workforce here and after the new year and she said that she needed to get refreshed prior to returning to the workforce because she has to compete with these younger, prettier, youthful um, employees. Okay, okay. And so this patient, th this particular patient had a combination of the old therapy and the intense pulse light and at her one month follow-up, even as soon as just one month, she was already feeling so much better and she said, I can't 
even thank you enough. I am so refreshed. I'm so excited to get out there and get into the workforce again. She's very, very happy. I improved her texture with the IPL, and I tightened her skin with the Ulthera, and I put her on the appropriate medical skincare products. She's absolutely thrilled. She's, she's got that self-esteem she needs to get out there and compete with the younger generation. I've had a variety of laser treatments, Restylum and uh, Botox. Um, I feel like it gives me a new lease on life. I feel uh, more vibrant, younger looking anyway. And it, it actually boosts my morale, my self-esteem, and my, my zest for living. Research, you're in charge of research yes. here. I mean, you are given money. We should mention that you are given grants. Companies to and learn societies give us money, yes. To, uh, so it must be fun, fun for you to do. It's wonderful Because experience. you're working on how to stop the appearance of aging. Yes. Is that right? Absolutely, and patients know that, that come here. When they come in, what do they want? What's the common theme? People just want to feel better. They don't want to look so tired. Okay. Um, they don't want to be told that they look so tired or something's wrong. And it's nothing's a... wrong. You know, they <laughs> feel perfectly fine. They slept 12 hours earlier that day. Um, and, but they just can't combat the signs of aging with 12 hours of sleep. So they come in and so with a little bit of Botox and a little bit of filler and a little bit of, you know, one or two laser procedures, we can get them to looking better, rested. I actually had a patient that came in today and uh, we just did one syringe of a filler and a little bit of Botox and she was telling me how people had asked if her son had been behaving a little bit better, if she had gotten <laughs> more sleep just because she looked better and she looked more rested and so by default people were asking if, you know, if, if her son was giving her, you know, an easier time lately. Okay, and uh, final message, somebody doesn't like the way they're aging, What's our first move? Come in. Consultation. Free Come consultations, free right? Free consultations. We have a free consultation. We have all the time to, to discuss what concerns you and most importantly to educate you honestly and sincerely. And uh, what's the best thing a patient could say to you when it's all done? What do they say to you? Thank you so much for making me feel better because when you actually look better, people generally feel better. All right, great. Thank you so mm -hmm. much. Very Absolutely. interesting. We'll be right back. With the liposuction, um, what I've noticed the most is that um, my clothes just feel more comfortable. I figure I exercise a lot. I do, you know, do what I need to do to keep myself healthy. So I also wanted to. There's certain areas that one can't, you know, has to work on. That's harder to get, and so I just went ahead and did it, and it just feels better. We're in the studio. I'm Randy Alvarez. You're watching the Wellness Hour. We're here with a board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Butterwick. Okay, so. I've interviewed a lot of uh, the, the dermatologists at your center, uh -huh, uh -huh. and you weren't available that day, so we had to bring you down to the right. studio. You, you do a lot of lipo for people that don't know you, right? And uh, but you've been doing kind of minimally invasive or non-invasive, mm -hmm. non-surgical right. uh, cosmetic dermatology for quite some time. How long? How long have you been doing that? Well, at least 15 years. I've been in practice 23. So back 23 years ago, we didn't have all the things we have now, even Botox. But I would say I've been doing the uh, fillers, lasers, uh, Botox, those sort of things, in addition to the liposuction, for a good uh, 20 years. Do you, you know, we talk about the deeper peels or the deeper right. treatments, deeper mm -hmm. laser treatments. Right. Um, who's a candidate? At what point are they, are they candidates for that? Right. Well, many people have been in the sun for years in Southern California, grew up in the sun, and they have premature aging of the skin. That could be someone who is, you know, 70 and very weathered, have deep lines on the face, but it can also be a 40-year-old who, at that age, should not have the deep smoker's lines. Maybe she never even smoked. Interesting, So okay. it can be anybody with a deep wrinkle, and that's what we use the deeper, more aggressive lasers for those And what are the lasers, lasers called, by the way, when well, you're talking about deeper Lasers. The, the best lasers for wrinkles are CO2 lasers. Okay. And there are lasers that are fractionated. That means just uh, little fractions or pixels of the skin are vaporized. And then the, when we want to get the big gun out, we use the, just this pure CO2 laser. In this economy, <laughs> why do it? I mean, what's your case? You're a dermatologist. Of course, you think the skin maybe is the most important thing. Of course. But how important <laughs> is it? Well, you know, in this economy, I mean, people are 
are having trouble keeping their jobs, they're looking for jobs, and you want to look better than your competition. Okay. If your skin is nice, you don't have to have had a facelift or look artificial, but good skin tells that interviewer that you take care of yourself, that you are a very, you know, together person. I mean, great skin is attractive, by right. the way. When I'm out and about and I see a 50-year-old woman, 60-year-old right. woman, I mean, that's, that's hot. I mean, that is sexy. Right, Beautiful and that person lo looks less tired. Let's say you had two twins, one... On a job they, interview. On a job interview. They okay. both come in. One is vibrant, looks energetic, has great tone and color to her skin. The other is sallow, looks tired. Which one are you going to hire? You want to <laughs> be point. energetic, good-looking yeah. skin, the one that looks yeah. relaxed and well, ready you know, to go. I mean, it, it goes beyond vanity. I mean, it's about taking care of yourself, right? Right. But, I, but especially, you say there's a lot of people that hate their skin, and they wear right. way too much makeup. Right. And that makes them look older. Right. Just having to apply too much makeup, you know, it's wonderful to be able to just wash your skin, put your sunscreen on, and go. So with lasers, we can get rid of spots that age you, and just, when people look mottled or sun damaged, they just don't look like they're, um, I don't know, that they, that they take care of themselves as well. All right, well thank you so much. Okay, so final message, somebody watching this, they don't like their skin, they don't like the way they're aging, just come in, get right. an appointment, right. get, get evaluated. Exactly, and well, what I try to do is just tell them what will make their skin look the best, what procedure will make them look prettier not a different person but you can with with a little it's mainly fillers that add the prettiness prettiness factor and good looking skin a little botox and you can be good to go life without is good a after facelift that. life is yeah. good yeah. all right i want to thank you so much for coming on the program thank Always you a pleasure thank Thanks you so for coming much. back thank you we'll be right back initially right after i had the treatment there was still a little bit of redness for i'd say no more than about a week but after that, my skin is almost, it was just so much smoother, and um, all the fine lines, you know, under my eyes were actually gone, and I haven't really um, experienced any uh, lines or anything coming back, and it's been a couple years. So people are often surprised by my age, and I get a lot of compliments, um, and, and for the most part, people think I'm about five to eight years younger than I really am, so that's always flattering.